Welcome to tonight's talk with visual artist Justine Ganter from France. We're uh, broadcasting from uh, the culture house Hulten in Linköping, Sweden. This is a place where you have dance studios, artist studios, uh, music production rooms, and this beautiful stage. Welcome, Justine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. And you? How are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. It's very nice and warm. Yeah, inside. Uh, outside, mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, rain, wind, and um, uh, so we prefer to stay inside. Uh, tell us, what do you do in Lean Shopping and where do you come from exactly? Uh, I come from France. I live in the city of Tours and uh, I spent the three last months in Lin Shopping on an uh, art residency. Uh, this was part of, um, of um, cultural exchange program between mm -hmm. the two cities of Lin Shopping and my city tour in France. So hopefully in a few months there will be a Swedish artist also that will come oh, in see. France uh -huh. during the spring, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was... Uh, I will was you do a show here, in s have a show? In Lin Shopping later? Uh, me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the ID. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was provided with the studio here and all the accommodation uh, to have the best, um, the best condition to develop my researches. Okay. And uh, so the, uh, the idea was to create uh, new artworks and mm -hmm. uh, show them in, in, uh, in a solo show in the, um, in the gallery of the city, Passagen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yes. And you, what do you do? Well, I accidentally work in Passagen, <laughs> uh, which is the city's gallery for um, contemporary art. Mm -hmm. And um, there I um, interact with the public, with, with the audience. I write about art and um, uh, occasionally I do these kind of interviews and video uh, presentations. Okay. Um, and I'm also myself an artist. Okay. What kind of art do you do? Well, I do scenography. I work mm -hmm. with theater, uh, drawing and painting. And um, since I have a studio myself in this building next to yours, I've actually been a little inspired by your work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and the work that I've seen during a huge mm, street art festival that we've had this year in Lin Shopping. Mm -hmm. Artscape. Artscape, yeah. uh, exactly, exactly. And um, I've simply been encouraged to go back to um, a way of painting that I used to do mm -hmm. uh, during my really art school years. Uh, a little bit freer, uh, I paint on the floor with big brushes and big gestures and I love to walk across my painting, to be in, in the middle of the painting. Yeah. Um, but um, I've, I've learned that you, you haven't painted for such a long time, you're, you're actually, it's a new medium for you, that's true? Yeah, this is, this is true. Um, it has been a while. I wanted to, to start painting, um, but uh, it took me a lot of time. Um, I was very shy, I think, about mm -hmm. painting. But um, I had a lot of ideas and pictures that I have in mind, and uh, I realized that um, recording um, that video and installation couldn't afford me to express this uh, feeling uh, of perception that I live every day. So because mainly my work is about um, installation and video. And um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I realized that I couldn't uh, record everything. So it, it was quite frustrating. So mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it's been two years now that I'm thinking about starting painting because I think it, it could allow me to, to, to express uh, mm -hmm. this idea. So and, and because before, you, you've been working with uh, project, uh, slide projectors, with uh, uh, installations, with light, is that so? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, all my previous work was uh, was uh, with the light. They are all presented in the dark, and uh, it's um, it's projection, and uh, but in a different way. They are all installation. I I try to put picture uh, that I record mm -hmm. in space to give them uh, different mat materiality mm -hmm. and uh, different perspective to the viewer point of view. Point of view. Okay. Yeah. So you do do videos as well, or only still frames, pictures? No, I start with with video. Yeah. I I did a lot of uh, work with video, and I still work with video. Um, but I start to work with slide this year, uh, so mm -hmm. it's a it's a new work, and now there is painting, and uh, mm -hmm. I I decided to to start this new work of painting um, to take you know proper time to develop this research during this residency mm -hmm. in Linköping. Um, how come? How come you? Sorry, um, got interested in such a nowadays you'd say uh, outdated uh, mm. uh, thing as as slides and slide projectors. You um, have s with all the technology we've got. Yeah, yeah. This is true that uh, yeah. This is not very common to use that machine. Um, I think I I. I discovered the machine, um, the the slide projectors, a few years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was uh, during my fine art studies. I mm -hmm. remember some of my friends uh, were trying to to work with uh, this machine, and um, yeah, I just um, I just kept it in mind uh, mm -hmm. because I really liked the the process it gave. Um, it's it's always like this with my work, and it's um, all my installation work like that. I just uh, one day, somehow, I found um, a device or a process to, to create or show an image, mm -hmm. and uh, but I but I don't have any contents to put in it, and so. But you'll work with color. Is that true? Color is very important to you. Yeah, this yeah. is true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. this is more and more important. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, do uh, you did mention once that. In Sweden, you've seen different colors, different light conditions um, th than you usually see in France, and that that has had a certain impact on your work. Is that is that yeah, definitely is that true? Yeah, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to start a work of painting during mm -hmm. this residency this fall. Uh, I heard before arriving, I heard about the the colors of fall here and uh, the and of course the light mm -hmm. uh, which is very different because of the angle of the sun and um, yeah I was not disappointed that I find a lot a lot of in inspiration for my work here mm -hmm. yeah during ta daytime I suppose but yeah. then it gets dark quite early and uh, yeah. how have you uh, what is your impression of the very long uh, hours of darkness. Uh, this is a very s strange and new experience. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this kind of uh, darkness in France also, but it's really not the same span of uh, mm -hmm. hours of dark darkness. Uh, um, yeah, this is this is a little bit hard to mm -hmm. be to be honest, um, but you get used to it uh, yeah. after a time. I I can feel it now. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I, I arrived in the end of uh, the summer to to work with uh, to gather a lot of um, um, record and memories to work with. Now actually we're, uh, I think we've just passed the darkest day of the year. Uh, the uh, yeah, when I, I think it's in a few days. Don't don't you? In a few days, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> there is hope. Uh, yeah, light will come back. <laughs> Um, look, uh, about the, uh, um, wh where do your slides come from? Uh, slide projectors, yes. Okay, one could ask oneself, where do you, where do you um, buy one, where do you find one? But your slides, you have to produce them, do you take your own photos? How do you... Uh, um, this is not my own photos. It, um, I bought them uh, from a person on the internet uh, just before arriving in Linköping. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I, I did a first work with, uh, with slides, uh, but it was uh, only made with uh, mixed materials coming from everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but this time I wanted to, to work with the slide itself um, because I'm, I found a lot of qualities in it. Um, mm -hmm. The transparency quality, the, the brightness of colors and all the details it brings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I gather this, um, this old slide. I think it's from the 70s and 80s. Uh, oh. These are photographs from this period. And I cut them in a lot of fragments, um, but not in a random way. Mm -hmm. I sort them in uh, in different categories, mm -hmm. um, colors, shapes, and textures. And I also work with these categories in my painting. Uh, I, I work with this, uh, I, I separate uh, the, the, this with the picture. And so, yeah, I'm, after cutting, cutting them and sorting them, I combine them in abstract collages uh, in order to show these qualities. Mm -hmm. um, so this is how you do it, but why do you do it? Why did you choose to become an artist in the first place? <laughs> um, what, what is your? Uh, what do you want to tell us? Um, about being an artist, choosing being an artist. Yeah, did you choose it or did, did art choose you in a way? Um, I think I choose mm -hmm. and I think I always had interest in art. Uh, I think it began quite early. I, I remember drawing all my childhood and and also I, I, I start recording with uh, all devices I found when I was a teenager. So I think mm -hmm. it, it started very early and I choose to study art yeah, because I, I, I wanted, I think, to find some ways to convey uh, something to others, but I mean in a, in more relevant ways mm -hmm. uh, than my word. So... About your residency, um, the world is full of pictures. We're all m almost too... There, are t there is too much of it, one could say, almost. Uh, it's difficult to concentrate on, on some single artist or picture almost because there is mm. such a um, s uh, huge stream of it all the time. Do you, what do you say, do you think that there still is a, um, um, uh, does it make sense to go abroad or, or is it enough to uh, view others' work um, uh, online, from websites, or does it, in your opinion, still make sense to go to a strange place, live it, uh, experience yeah. whatever you, you meet? Yeah, I think it's, it's important, yeah. Because, of course, you can see a lot of vi vi variety of works on the internet, uh, and everything is um, available. You can see a really huge stream, as you said. Uh, work and um, but it's it's very flat. Everything is on the same uh, scale, and uh, mm -hmm. it, this is really not the same to to see the work in real, to see the work of other artists in real. And uh, when you move to a place, you meet people and you mm -hmm. have some talk like here, and mm -hmm. um, this is really not the same experience. This about is the art itself. Um, uh, working with projections, I suppose that you're not only interested in light but in darkness as well. You need a dark space to be able to project a uh, an image. Is is that important to you as well? That the, the other side to of work it? in the dark to have all yes, my work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, um, I always work. I usually work with um, projecting dark and um, the light comes from the work with the projection. Uh, I like to work in this way because it creates a special atmosphere to the work and it creates, mm -hmm. um, it can put the viewers in, a, in an attention state and more peaceful state to, 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 to look at the image and yeah. to watch. 
the pictures. This is really not the, the same relationship to the, to the picture when, you're, when there is no, no, nothing else in the space, you know, there is only so you, dialogue. So you, you mean that the experience of going to an art gallery, say our art gallery, your show, mm -hmm. could deepen the experience a little bit? as opposed to seeing it simply um, on a screen. It, would the experience be a little, do you think the experience is a little deeper, a little more mm, uh, richer? Yeah, I don't think it... Seeing the actual... Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure, I, I, can't, I can't promise that it will be deeper, but it will be surely a different experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe more rich, yeah, I think so. And when will the, um, hopefully, your show be? Uh, hopefully it will be uh, in the end of February, but we still don't know, of course, because uh, okay. of that time. So we sure. will see. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We mm -hmm. all are at the gallery. Um, and we do hope you can uh, come for the opening. We hope we can... We'd like to be able to open the, uh, the, 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 the show properly. Mm. Um, um, it's very interesting, very moving what you're saying. Thank you. I think Thank our uh, listeners or viewers might have some questions. Um, if you uh, would like to ask um, Justine something, uh, this is the time. And this is your opportunity. Um, if there is something I missed or something that uh, got you interested. <laughs> Do we have any questions out there? <laughs> Yeah, we have uh, two questions uh, so far. Please. Um, first, there's a question from Marie Dubois. Um, she's uh, asking when w uh, she can see your art in tours, when you can see her wor your work in tours. Um, does that mean the work of uh, that I create in Linköping? Uh, because if it's that work, of course... Uh, no, actually, she's asking about the the work that you did during uh, your art residency in Tours? Um, I'm, I will have a residency in a few months, uh, but it will not be in Tours. It's uh, uh, another city that it, um, which is called Amboise, in the art center of Le Garage. Mm -hmm. um, so it will be in a few months, hopefully also. Uh, it will be uh, at the end of the spring. Uh, it will start, uh, if I remember well, in May or in April. Okay. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and what will you do? Will you still paint? What do you think? I think I will continue to paint. Um, the experience of of this residency year bring yeah bring me a lot of new ideas, and I mm -hmm. and I want to maybe try bigger paintings oh. to have a bigger scale to to mm -hmm. to try yeah. Yeah, I think I will continue painting, and uh, but it's I, I wanted to to precise. This is not painting. This is a mix of print and painting. That is why I call them print paintings. Okay, it makes sense. But you're us using paint on canvas, so. Yeah, but it's not proper canvas. Also, this oh. is uh, this is not the canvas you use in painting. This is some cotton tissue that I bought in a tissue okay. shop, and uh, I made so a lot. So it's not properly prepared for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I, I, I mean, I'm uh, oils or, or a clear. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's raw fabric. You haven't. Uh, mm. uh, okay. Yeah, I like. I surface. like to use raw materials. I think there is really interesting qualities in raw materials, mm -hmm. and I, 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 I hope I will find. I, th I'm pretty sure I will find other raw materials mm -hmm. to to work with. But yeah, so I'm. I mix, I think, a lot of influence I I gathered for a lot of time, a few years, mm -hmm. and uh, I mix them. So it's it's a mix of painting, it's a mix of prints, and uh, I I made I I, I need a, I needed uh, some time to um, um, 
find the perfect way, you know, to to that the work can yeah can work. I don't know how to say. Okay, I see. I see very well. Any other questions? Yeah, we have two questions from Hasti. Uh, first, she's wondering uh, when you're planning your show in Linköping. Uh, when when uh, when are you planning your show in Linköping? Uh, we think it will be um, February. Yeah, February. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, first time it was supposed to be in the beginning of the year, but uh, it uh, it will it was. Postponed. Of course, the schedule is being postponed a little bit, yeah. um, little by little. Uh, but we really do hope to uh, that we can um, open our um, exhibitions uh, again. Mm. And um, because there is a lot of demand, people are really um, there are a lot a lot of people knocking on door and. Uh, Asking me when when we will open again, so. Uh, yeah. Second question from Hasti. Mm -hmm. uh, she's asking, from what I see, you work with layers and a speci special symbolism, thought behind uh, these layers. Uh, I didn't hear. Sorry, the symbolism between layers. Yeah, from from what I see, you work with layers. Any special symbolism thought mm. behind these layers? I don't think so. I don't think I uh, I work with symbolism. I think it's really it's really about perception, mm -hmm. really about feelings related to perception. So no, I don't think it's related to symbolism. Symbols as a um, way of explaining something. That's mm. what she means. I think that. Uh, your image means something else. No, your image perhaps no, means it what what you've got there uh, yeah, in front of you. Yeah, uh, I I don't want to brought some um, kind of m message about my work. Oh. It's the the stuff you 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 you're looking at. It's this is just in front of you. There is no hidden message. And uh, yeah, my work is really related. It, it evolves around really um, visual issues. It's uh, mm -hmm. this is. You know, when I talk about raw materials and these qualities, um, his uh, their qualities, this is really about, yeah, the, the thing you see, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sure, fair enough. Um, after all, somebody said, a very famous uh, art critic, historian, which I should remember the name, but I don't, said that since art I is done with paint, perhaps it's about paint and colors. Mm. Um, yeah. Or not art in general, painting, painting. Since mm -hmm. it's about painting, perhaps that's what it's really about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the painting itself, yeah, the material. Mm. Like music is about sound. Mm. Yeah, this is really the beginning. So I'm I'm happy with what I did during this residency, and I really look forward to see what it will become. Yeah. This is a really new work, and it's very exciting, but also very intense and and um, difficult to. It mm -hmm. was the very intense part of the residency, the the painting work. So, yeah. But well. yeah, I can really feel that uh, it brings a lot of new issues and. Uh, but and it feels fresh also. somehow. You you you've s you're discovering new things. You yeah, y yeah. New ways of uh, expression. New. Uh, New ideas, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, uh, as we when we start, we talk about the the um, this idea that you can convey something to people without words, mm -hmm. and this is about that. You you know you find you find forms, uh, techniques, medium mm -hmm. to to express something that can be that can be uh, described with uh, words, but yeah, you can find other ways to. Mm -hmm. Do you think we are a little bit hung up on words sometimes as a culture? Something, everything has to be explained in words, mm. in a linear uh, way. Uh, otherwise, mm. it's not really taken for real. It's uh, Yeah, you have to justify, you have to organize your... Yeah, it's very organized way of thinking and maybe art can bring 
mm -hmm. a little bit of mess in it, but that can be really interesting mess. So, do you think um, you say art is a little bit messy, but is is reality messy? Are there mistakes in in reality? Yeah, of course. They <laughs> are. There are. Yeah. The, okay. But we try maybe to hide them. I don't know. Uh -huh. I think we we try to. S somebody said that that wherever you see people, I mean, people have been, you can tell because things are uh, being uh, straightened, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, the wiggly nature of 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 life is something that we, we 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 almost can't help ourselves but trying to fix it mm -hmm. all the time yeah so art could be perhaps a a little a bit of an antidote to that yeah maybe maybe it can be a an opposite way to to work with things mm -hmm. it's it's i think it's a try because you you never have any precise answer about it but uh, i think um when you're looking for some new gestures to produce work, it 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 um, it speaks a lot about it. You know, it's a uh, um, yeah. I I don't know how to finish my sentence. No, don't worry, don't worry. Um, Are there any uh, other questions? Uh, something to mm. yes, we have a question from Annika. She wants to know what inspired you most here in Sweden. Uh, I think really it was the colors and really the light. Um, I spend a lot of time here to to be astonished by the the colors of trees and um, and a lot of landscape I saw. Uh, it can be it can look very naive naive, but um, uh, yeah, this was the the big experience of uh, living here this is really not the same this is not you know violent um how to say the sun is never up in the sky when i arrived it mm -hmm. was on mm -hmm. the decline um and so it's always a very striking col um, very striking light and mm -hmm. it creates a lot of contrast everything is very yeah very stunning and i really like to experience that um, basically every day yeah. Good. Well, a lot of, I mean, tourists come to Sweden to see the uh, the scenery, yeah. nature, and uh, so there is nothing, uh, nothing strange about it. Although your way of seeing perhaps is uh, uh, a little bit different, or your motivation is different. You yeah. Sure. But uh, sure. Mm. Anything else? questions we've got okay. okay thank you very much good questions well i think we'll be rounding up uh, mm -hmm. thank you justine for being thank here thank you very much for having me and uh, i hope we'll see you in shopping soon again you're thank leaving you. very soon aren't you in yeah a in a few days. days in a few days so i suppose you still have a lot of things to do uh, cleaning and uh, yeah, very interesting stuff, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's part of life. To get everything prepared you know, for the yeah. exhibition, yeah. Sure, sure. And have you already prepared the material for us to work with in the gallery? Or yeah. will you be here to mount the, uh, the show yourself? Uh, it could have been the best um, the best way to work that I that I'm here to, to, to hang the exhibition, but I'm really not sure I will be able to be there because mm -hmm. um, as I said I have the, um, the other residency in oh few yes. months and I will start working on it uh, basically when I will come uh, okay. come home so and we don't know if we will be able to travel right. so finger crossed but uh, we will perhaps see. we can we can have another talk uh, not you and me but somebody in your on your other resident next residency uh, we can have a, a connection like this Mm -hmm. And we can s hear about your uh, development. It could be, it could be nice. Yeah. Again, thank you very much thank for you being again. here, and thank you for watching. Thank you for the questions, and um, good night to you all. And uh, 
Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope we'll be seeing each other soon again. Thank you.